Hello, Haumea, welcome to 30 Minute Bar. I have a set of weights as well as our ball today. And we're going to get started with this class, dropping down into some squats. So we'll get our booty nice and low and at the top, feeling those glutes engage, feeling a gentle squeeze. Our whole class today is going to be booty focused, of course. We will drive through the whole rest of our body and get your full body workout on. So right here for just five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Big marches. Our question of the day is, do you have any pets at home? I have three pets at home. I have a 16 year old cat who we got as a kitten and she is the cat that just keeps on bouncing back. Four, three, two, one. Her name's Haley. We're gonna goalpost our elbow and take a big step as we twist. I also have a 90 pound mutt half great Pyrenees. His name is Gus and he is a very chill dog. And then I have a one-year-old lab hound, I don't know, something blend that we picked up on a trip to Alabama last year for Christmas. So his name is Bama. Three, two, one, beautiful. Let's do some alternating lunges, stepping one foot back and then feet back together. So I would love to hear about your pets. And if you don't have a pet right now, have you ever had a pet? Maybe a favorite childhood pet? Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Scoop up your weights. We're gonna get into our triceps right away, taking a bend through your knees. Elbows up, belly back, big reach and resist. Big reach and resist. Now, when your arms are back, can you think about really squeezing that tricep? That's it, you got this. Strengthening up the back of the arms, really good. Now the next time our arms are straight, stay right there. Little one inch pulse up and down. One inch up and down. Really good. Just five, four, three, two, one. Here we go back to full range of motion. Bend and reach. Check in with your form. Make sure you've got that bend in your knees. Belly is pulled back nice and tight and strong. Using your breath out. over halfway through. Now the next time we reach our arms back, instead of pulsing up, we'll squeeze together. Lift your arms up and then squeeze together. Right there, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Full range, bend, reach, bend, reach. This is our last set. So can you stay nice and strong? Really dial in on your form. Remembering that as this workout gets a little bit harder, that's where you're going to see the benefits. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now reaching back, we're gonna pulse up. Pulse together. Ooh, I got a burn. Pulse up, together, up, together, up, together. Nice work, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. Bring your arm up, stretch. I like to use the weight for my tricep stretch just because then the weight can help ease some space back into the muscles. Wonderful, and we'll change. Good. 
keep your weights. I just need to take my layer off. It's absolutely freezing before this, and it's always nice to feel like we're warming things up. Okay, now weights into, let's go left hand. We're going to step back with our right foot and then come all the way up, pressing your arm overhead. We are going to get a little cardio boost here. Woo, really squeezing the glute. Option to find a high heel. That's it. Let's pick up that pace. Yes, you only have 15 seconds left. Keep it up. Go faster, beat me. I'm wobbling all over the place. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, as long as we're here, another round of squats all the way up and down. We're getting dynamic functional strength. If you still have these weights, maybe you add in a little arm squeeze at the back. Get that heart rate up. Maybe you can hear my panting. Whoo, 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Roll your shoulders up back and down. Little bend through the knee. Strong through your core. We're just gonna go up and down with the arms. Strengthening the shoulders. Super important here. Keep your shoulder blades drawing together and drawing down your back. If you're looking for in-person bar, we do have that on Wednesday nights with Mary. Good job. Arms all the way up. Little circle, tiny circle in. Beautiful, you got it. Back to your full range of motion. Down and up. So good. Really nice. Halfway through right now. Ah, you got it. So it's getting cold here in Wisconsin. And our one-year-old dog, Bama from Alabama, um, he doesn't have a very thick coat. And we heat our house mainly through burning wood. So we're going to come up little circles the other way. And yesterday, he decided that he wanted to hop right up on the hearth, settle down on that nice slab of stone where it was super warm. He looked like a happy puppy. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Last time down and up. Good job. 10 seconds. He is one, so he has outgrown all of his sweaters and jackets from last year. So it's time to do some ordering, I think. All the way up, combo. In, out, in, out, in, out. Good job. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, keep those weights. This time, weights on the right hand. Left leg is going to step back, drop your knee, all the way up, knee up. Okay, once you got the hang of it, pick up your pace. Good job. We're only going 30 seconds, so really get that pace going. See how fast you can go here. 20 seconds, you can do it. Good job, so good to get our heart beating, 15. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Back to squats. Down. Squeeze the back of those arms. Drop your booty low. 30 more seconds. I don't know about you, but I'm not feeling cold anymore. 15. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, last little bit of shoulder work. 
arms at 90 degrees, open, squeeze the shoulder blades together, open, and together. Really good job. Slight bend in your knees, core is strong and engaged. Now the next time, elbows are at 90, one inch pulse up and down. One inch up and down. Really good job. <sighs> Beautiful, you're doing so well. Okay, here we go, another round. Open, close. Squeeze behind you, draw them together. That's it, behind and together. Man, give yourself a big mental pat on the back for showing up, doing this workout, or getting a little cardio boost, a little booty burn. Man, you're gonna feel so good, so proud of yourself at the end of this workout. Okay, back together. Now one inch karate chop, forward and back, forward and back. Really nice, four, three, two, one. Here we go, last rep, open and close. Oh, there's the burn in my body. I hope you're feeling it too. Now, if you're not feeling it, here's what you need to do. Get a heavier set of weights. So if you don't have a heavier set of weights, toss them in your Amazon cart, pick some up at Target, do what you need to do so that you can really make the most of every minute of this workout. Last set, we're comboing. So we're going to pulse up and out, up and out, strong core. Good job. Four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, bring it down. Give your shoulders a nice roll. All right, my friends. Weights go back into your left hand, right leg back, big step up. Now, option, if you wanna add a hop at the top, you go for it. If you're a runner, this is good. If you don't wanna hop, don't hop. If you just wanna lunge, find that lunge. We are over halfway through, 15 seconds left here. You got it, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go with our squats, down and up. Just 30 seconds. So we just have this one minute of heart rate burst, one minute of squats, seeing how many you can get done at each one of these intervals. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Whew, all right. One last little bit of upper body. Elbows back, squeeze the elbows towards your back. Right there. Key here, do not shut your ribs, please. Leave them knit in, almost as if you're wrinkling up your shirt. Beautiful. Now hold that squeeze. Pulse your hands backwards. It should feel like you're squeezing a pencil between your shoulder blades. That's it. Squeezing. Good job. 13. Ha, ah, really good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to elbow squeezes. Elbows together. Elbows together. Elbows together. Good job. Really nice. Back body strength. You've got this. Good, my friends. 10 more seconds right here. Yes, you can. That's it. Focus your body. Focus your breath. Four, three, two, one. Now just the hands back. Good job. 
I don't know about you, but I think I ate way too much of my kids' Halloween candy. And it's nice to indulge. It's fun to have those treats that I know usually I don't have that around my house just because if I have it, I'll eat it. Um, but I'm really feeling like I need to get back to feeling my body in a healthy way. Two, one. Okay, back to our combo. Squeeze, hands back. Squeeze, hands back. This is our last round of reps. Squeeze, hands back. So for me, um, when I'm eating healthy, usually I tend to fuel myself with a smoothie. I like to focus on putting real foods into my smoothies, so I don't really do protein powder or anything like that. And one, all right. It's our last round of lunges. Weights in two. Yeah, the right hand. Right leg is our base. Down and up, 30 seconds. There we go. So some of my favorite and smoothie ingredients. I like spinach. Spinach has a little bit of a sweet flavor. Banana. Um, dark red cherries, the organic ones from Costco. Um, I like putting some flaxseed in there. And that's about it. That's my go-to smoothie. Do you have a favorite smoothie recipe? I should probably be mixing mine up. It's always good for our bodies to get that variety of nutrients. Whew, these are getting harder. It's our last round though, you can do it. 15 seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Whew, here we go friends. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh man, that looks messy. 30 seconds of squats. Okay, now mentally, I noticed I was starting to check out there a little bit on these squats. Let's stay with it. Really drive through this pace. That's it, you got it. Eight, seven, drop low. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> All right, set your weights down. We're going to come down to the floor, bringing your ball with you and all the way onto your elbow. Your legs are going to be a little bit bent in front of you and then ball under your top leg. You might be up on your elbow or all the way down like you're hanging out at the beach. Now keep your toes together, open and close your top leg. Good job. Really sorry for puffing in your ear. Hopefully you're puffing along with me. Oh, when we do those heart rate bursts, you should be breathing heavy enough that it would be challenging for you to talk also. Oh, five, four, three, two, one. Now at the top, little one inch pulses back. One inch pulse back. That's it. Maybe your heart rate is lowering too. Dynamic heart rate, ability to bump our heart rate up, back to full range of motion and lower it down. It's so important for our physical health, but also our mental health. Oh, we tend to think of everything as separate in our bodies, but really it's all together. And you're working out, you know this. Do you feel better mentally? on days that you get your workout in. All right, three, two, one. At the top, little pulses back. One inch pulse back, there we go. That's it, my friends, little pat pulse. You should feel this in the top of that booty. One more set, close and open. That's it. All right, progressively, we are going to make this harder, but you can do it. You're strong. Breathing well. That's it. Four, three, two, one. Little pulses at the top. Last set of pulses in this shape. 
You should be feeling a burn right there. That's it, my friends. Five, four. We're not done at the end of this, though. Oh, no. Separate your feet. Now you're going to touch your knee together and then touch your toes together. So we're going knee and then we're going toe. Knee, toe, knee, toe. That's it. You've got it. I know I'm feeling a pretty strong burn. I hope you are as well. And that's where you're going to get the benefit. At the top, pulse the leg back. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, <laughs> 2, 1. There we go. Knee and toe again. Here we go. Home stretch. Yes, you can. Man, when things get hard, I like to close my eyes and breathe. At that most challenging part of the movement, can you take a big exhale? Good job. Just a couple more. We've got one more set of little pulses back, and then that is it on this side. Okay, little pulses back. Here you go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, oh my gosh, 2, and 1. You did it. Good job. Put your ball down. Now leave your legs. Don't change your legs. Just walk yourself up. Then the leg that was on top, swing it over and give it a little hug in. I have to give myself some support. So we will take some big breaths, getting some space back into the underside of our glute. Noticing if your heart rate is up, mine certainly is. Just letting that breathe. Good job. Come to hands and knees. Set your ball to the side. We will get side two. I didn't forget about it. But nice and strong on hands and knees. Walk your hands about 12 inches in front of you. Now roll the eyes of your elbows up to the sky. Slide your shoulder blades back. And actually, we're going to use our ball. Put your ball down on the ground. Now bend your elbows, and we're going to grab our ball, squeeze it together as we straighten our arms. Yeah? You got it. Lower it down, lift it up. Lower it down, lift it up. Good job. Keep that belly in tight, shoulder blades pulling down. 10 seconds right here. Just a couple more reps, coming to our last five seconds. So probably two reps, one more. Good job. Now just let your ball go down, hands under shoulders. Exhale, belly comes up and in. And it might be helpful to even if you have one of your weights handy, put that weight on your back. Now we don't want any wobbling to happen in our weight. Hover your right knee off the ground just a little bit. Don't let the weight tip. Lift your leg, extend it long behind you. Keep your weight dead even. And then bend your knee coming to just a hover. So that is our movement, knee down to hover, extend long, keep your weight super steady. That's it. Use your breath. Couple more, you can do this. Let's do two more. One. And two. Beautiful. Set your weight down. And then we'll take the other side of that booty work. So coming down on your opposite hip, legs in front of you, ball under your leg. You might be up on your forearm. Maybe you're down and open and close. Beautiful. Oh, you are rocking this workout. And we are in the last little bit here. We're just gonna finish out this side. 
And then we'll finish out our other half of our core work and that's gonna be it. You rocked it, you did so well. At the top, little pulses back, one inch pulse back, you got it. And all this building of our glutes, the outside of our hips, so good for the health of your pelvic floor. Okay, close, open, close, open. Good job. That's it, my friends. Awesome job, you've got this. If you watch the show Grace and Frankie, Jane Fonda is the lead actress. She plays Grace. And she is like well into her 80s. But back in the 1980s, she was the workout queen. She was one of the first people of Little Pulses who did these home video workouts, which is kind of what we're doing right now. Um, but she looks amazing. If you see her on talk shows, um, she is so steady. She looks like just super fit. Um, anyways, this is one of kind of her classic moves. Full range of motion down and up, open and close. Seems to have worked well for her. 15 seconds. Ooh, breathing, breathing. 10 seconds. That's it. At the top, little pulses. There we go. You got it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Separate your feet. Find your ball. Knee, toe. Knee, toe. Knee, toe, there we go. Almost there. Seven, oh, I'm feeling it. Five, <laughs> four, three, two, and pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. There we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, one last set, knee and toe, knee and toe. You can do this. So good, showing up for you, sculpting those long, lean, strong muscles. Last little bit, we just have 10 seconds. You can do anything for 10 seconds. Close your eyes, dig deep. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Here we go to pulse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, all right, come on, let's go finish strong. Last round, ball out in front of, or right under your elbows. Arms out in front, eyes of the elbow forward, bending your elbows, find your ball. Lift and lower, belly strong. Really good job. That's it, nice and slow. Up and down. Six more seconds here. Don't lose your form, your form is everything. Set it down. Find your weight, weight onto your back. Left leg this time is our moving leg. Scooch away from my chair there. Hover your left knee, extend and bend. Now do not allow your weight to wiggle. Super steady. If you're wiggling, we're not creating core stability and that is our goal with this movement. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, set that down. Equipment to the side, downward facing dog. Maybe you take a 